So this, as you may know, is a tobacco pipe. And uh, one of the keys to enjoying a tobacco pipe is lighting it. And there's so many different ways to light a tobacco pipe. So today, I'm gonna share with you the art. The true art of lighting a tobacco pipe, making it stay lit, and enjoying it like never before. Um, here's what I found with tobacco pipes. If you asked a thousand pipe smokers how to light this pipe, you would probably get three answers back. Not a thousand, maybe a thousand, because everyone has their variation on it, but for the most part, there's really not that many different ways to light a tobacco pipe. There's a few different ways to pack the pipe, and I have videos about packing a tobacco pipe. I'll put them in the link below, if I remember. Um, but lighting the pipe is pretty simple. Let me show you how I do it. First, let me get a little bit more tobacco in here. This deck I'm sitting on is from our new 200 year old um, property here in Tennessee. If you wanna learn more about that, I'll put a link to that video in the description as well. All right, so I have my tobacco just about toward the top. This isn't perfect. I like to have a little fuzzy head, a little hair on top, a little bit more, but whatever. I have it ready to light. So everybody, everybody watching this who's ever smoked a tobacco pipe will tell you, don't use a torch lighter. Use a match or use some kind of soft flame lighter because you'll damage your tobacco pipe. I've been using torch lighters on all of my pipes since I've been smoking, which is a number of years now. And I, I'm sure it can cause problems. Maybe in 30 years it'll cause problems. But you know, in 30 years, I'll just get another tobacco pipe. It's okay. I've had these pipes for years and I see zero Damn, I'm not saying it doesn't damage them, I'm just saying I don't care, whatever. I like to use a torch lighter. I think it's way easier to control the flame, it's convenient, it works when it's super windy out, which doesn't happen with soft flames, they go out constantly. If even there's a little breeze with a lot of soft flames, they go out, they're a pain, I don't like them. I like torch lighters and that's what I will always use and it'll drive people crazy forever. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to light a tobacco pipe in what everyone will describe is the wrong way. How can this, whatever. You, you don't, it doesn't matter. Torch it up, that's what I say. Use whatever lighter you want, I guess is the point. Here's the art of lighting a tobacco pipe, okay? You stick the stem in your mouth because as you're lighting it, you're gonna be doing this. At least that's what I do. Just a little bit, you're just basically getting the air through the bowl, through the stem, and you're just kind of, you're getting it down in there. You're telling the flame, I want you to go down. I want you to stay in here. Live in here. It's very comfortable. You're gonna, you're gonna live for a while in this bowl. So I'm just like telling it, hey, come down this way, flame, by just bringing the air through. And it's okay to talk to the flame too. It's not weird at all. I'm gonna demonstrate and then walk you through the process. Oh gosh, that was smart. Take, take the little cap off your lighter if you have one. So I start, because it is a torch flame, I start with it pretty high and I just get it close enough to light the tobacco. I'm not like burning the bowl around here. I'm just sticking the flame right here. And the nice thing with these uh, torch lighters is the flame is so exact. You can put it wherever you want. If you need to light just the, just the little tip, just a little edge, you can do it, no problem. Okay, lots of smoke. You see right away, it gets smoky. And all I did is a a couple little puffs. And what that does is it's kind of a scorch light. It just scorches the top of the tobacco. We haven't really got the flame down into the bowl yet. It's just scorched the top and that's good. Because what you usually do after you do that scorch light on top is you take a tamper, which could be your finger too. It might be a little hot, but you can use your finger. You can use any somewhat flat surface. This is made for this, but you can use whatever you want. So you just do a little tappy tap on top. You see, flatten it down, makes it nice and flat. Because when you first stick the tobacco in there, there's all these big pieces sticking up. It looks like a really bad haircut. And so when you torch the top, it gets that initial burn going. It gets the top tobacco hot, and it also lets you smash it down lightly to make it flat and ready for your real, t your real light, which is happening next. This one, you take your time a little bit longer, get the air flowing like this. Did 
doesn't take much. Very gentle with my, uh, with my puffs, bringing the air in. And you can tell right away, the smoke is hot when you first do that initial burn. So from here, I mean, it's basically the light. It's done. Um, now it's just kind of monitoring how hard you're, how much force you're pulling into the bowl. How much, how much sucking are you doing? It should be very gentle. You don't want it to get crazy hot, but it's lit at least in there. And it'll stay lit for a good, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute at first. So you wanna be aware of when it's starting to, you can look at it. I mean, there's a good amount of smoke coming out of this, but if that starts to decrease, give it a couple more puffs. You wanna keep it warm, not necessarily hot. And that's it. It's very simple. Then it's just maintaining. And even though, oh, you're here. Even if you maintain it like crazy, uh, you'll still probably have to do some relights throughout. It's just kind of normal. It's part of the deal. Well, my wife's back. That means it's time for me to go. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up and uh, do the other things that YouTube requires you to do to uh, get this video out there, like subscribing to the channel or commenting is fabulous as well. Thanks for watching.